Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my another new video. Today I'll discuss about a brief history of computers. Part 2 When <coughs> Operating It consumed it consumed hundred forty k kilowatts hundred forty kilowatts of power it was also substantially it was also substantially faster than any electromechanical faster than any electro mechanical computer capable of 5000 additions per seconds addition per second the ENIAC was a decimal was a decimal rather than a binary machine rather than a binary machine that is number system numbers system that is numbers where represented in decimal form represented in decimal form and arithmetic was performed and arithmetic was performed in the decimal system in the decimal system its memory consisted of 20 accumulators consisted of 20 accumulators each capable of holding capable of holding a ten digit ten digit decimal number decimal number a ring of ten vacuum tubes ring of ten 
वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स रिप्रेजेंटेड इच डिजिट रिप्रेजेंटेड इच डिजिट्स एट एनी टाइम ओनली ऑन वैक्यूम ट्यूब At any time, only on vacuum tube was in the on state. Was in the on state. Representing all of the tens digits. Representing all of the ten digits. The major drawback. The major drawback of the ENIAC of the ENIAC was that it had to be programmed manually to be programmed manually by setting switches and plugging by setting switches and plugging and unplugging cables un plugging cables the eniac was completed in 1946 was completed in 1946 to let to be used to be used in the wire effort in the wire effort to help determine the feasibility to help determine the effort in a state its first task was first task was to perform a series of complex to perform a series of complex calculations of complex calculations that are used to help determine 
that were used to help determine the feasibility of the hydrogen bomb the feasibility the use of the ENIAC the use of the ENIAC for a purpose other than for a purpose other than that for which it was that for which it was built demonstrated its general purpose demonis traded is general purpose nature the ENA continued to operate continued to operate under BRL management unit unit 1955 when it was deassembled when it was D assembled a brief history of computers part 2 when operating it consumed 140 kilowatts of power it was also substantially faster than any electromechanical computer capable of 5000 additions per second the ENIAC was a decimal rather than a binary machine that is numbers were represented in decimal from and arithmetic was performed in the decimal system its memory consisted of 20 accumulators each capable of holding a 10 digit decimal number a ring of 10 vacuum tubes represented each digits at any time only on vacuum tube was in the one state represented on the 10 digits the drawback of the ENIAC was that it had to be programmed manually by setting switches and plugging and unplugging cables the ENIAC was completed 1946 too late to be used in the wire effort in a state its first task was to perform a series of complex calculations that were used to help determine the feasibility the use of the ENIAC for a purpose 
other than that other which it was built demonstrated its general purpose nature the ana continued to operate under brl management unit 1955 when it was deassembled thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel